Hey, Shalom, Shalom, I can. Hey, brothers, back with this truth. Before we get started, we want to give all glory on and praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, peace, and salutation. Blessing to the Aki and pushing this word of truth and in sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so now more so than ever. All right, we're the brothers from the GMS Cleveland branch here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, people of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among the heathens. To you, we say Shalom. Out of one Ratzaza, but now Ratzaza, this is an edifying lesson. You know, me and a couple of the brothers got the brother my eye right here. Got Shalom. the brother, um, got the brother your call. Shalom. You know, we was just, you know, we just had some breakfast or whatever. You know, and we just went to hop right in the spirit. You know, and, and basically speak about, you know, the famine of the word because the famine of the word is rapidly approaching, man. Right? You see all these different restrictions. They're gonna start. They they talking about um. You know certain requirements that they about to put on um TikTok, they you know because that's a, uh, I think it's a Chinese company, you know what I'm saying it's called, controlled by the uh the Moabites, you know but we rapidly approaching that time and when the famine of word come what comes after that all hell all hell gonna break loose, right. it's gonna be chaos over here in the streets of America, you know, and and that's the scriptures in the in the book of Amos we could get that yep. first since right. we going into that yeah. And it's uh, Amos, the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, how about Shemiah shot power? Yup. That will send a famine in the land. Yeah, and what's a famine? When you're going to a famine, matter of fact, look, that, look the word famine up real quick. You know, but when you're going to a famine, it's basically like a, a stream scarcity. You know, an extreme scarcity of uh, food. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the famine of the bread, but it's going yep. to be a screen, extreme scarcity of the word. Right. So that's Amos 8 and 11. Just bear with us. I can we gonna look this up in a blue letter and bring it out for brothers. Uh, yeah, you was talking about the shit before. They even talk about now they want to uh when you send a text message, you know, talking about these different things, they, they want to censor your text messages and talk about oh, this is uh what is what, is, what they be saying, the little pop-ups about fact check. They, they want to fact yeah. check your own personal messages now. Yeah, and that's another reason why it's gonna be a famine of the word. Mm -hmm. Because they label the word misinformation. That's right, because you know. that's what we preaching. You know what I'm saying? We go out and we do these lessons. We got on the highways and byways. See, we not they label the information that we put not there as misinformation. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that's gonna bring on the famine. But go ahead, God. Oh, Ra'ah, Ra'ah. Psalms H, mm -hmm. 7458. Ra'ah, Ra'ah, Ra'ah. Ra it says, uh, famine, hunger, a famine in the land nation of Jehovah's word, but we know that oh, the Lord's right. name yeah, yeah, is not right. Jehovah. Spirit, yep. All right, Yahweh Lord, Shai's Yahweh. word. Yeah, that's right. Right, because the Heavenly Father ain't talking about food, which is going to be a famine of food too, man. Right. You know, but the Heavenly Father is referring to a famine of, it's going to say it, matter of fact. It, but is it some more? Matter of fact, let's do this real quick. Uh, quick uh -huh. That's how you can look it up even more. And Five. Then, now, uh, go to this three, and then there. And let's see what it says. It's a, a you know, Google definition. Right. There you go. It screams scarcity of food. Right. It says a shortage. Right? Deprivation. Want. Right. So we coming into the times where these people, they going to want to hear the word of the Heavenly Father, but they, they ain't going to be able to find it. It's going right. to say that. That's beautiful. You, you got it. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Behold, the day is come, Savior, how about she may shot power. That was sin of famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, yep. nor a thirst for water, mm -hmm. but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah. There it is, man. But of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah, right? Because that's when people are going to miss us. When, they, when we ain't doing it no more, when we ain't preaching no more, we ain't out there, you know what I'm saying, right. going back and forth with people when we ain't doing it, you know, on the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when people going to want to hear the word, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to want to hear, but it's going to be too late then. Right, even with individuals who just ride past, they 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 notice yeah. it's out there. Yeah. So when all hell, and they notice the signs brothers hold up as well. Damn, them brothers down there was holding up a sign saying the end of America. Right. All right, but then they're going to go to those different locations, and they ain't going to see nobody. That's right. how the Lord is going to bring a famine of the word. It's just by removing his prophets from the streets, man. That's right. In the very next verse, too, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Because right. we ain't going to be in those locations anymore. That's right. We ain't going to be, you ain't going to be able to, okay, because the way YouTube going, mm. 
Okay, you ain't gonna be able to go to YouTube and, and access one of our videos anymore, man. Yeah, because okay. they're gonna delete brother's page. That's right. That's what they're gonna do. The algorithm, you know what I'm saying? It's been a certain amount of years when they first started that algorithm with that artificial intelligence, were they able to identify and pinpoint certain words that I can say. So it's gonna be certain words. You say one word, bro, and that's gonna get your video uh get a strike. And then eventually, you know, it gonna get your uh, your page taken down. All right, cause this devil, he's giving brother strikes from videos that they did three, four years ago, man. That's the spirit. Right. Um, I was on um, our Cleveland Remembers page. We don't even. I mean, us. Uh, so like I said, Cleveland Remembers. Uh, the old, old the, the, the flock page. Bro, we was our hot logged in there the other day, bro. It got it, it got a strike on there. We can't even use. We ain't used that page in months, bro. In months. You know what I'm saying? We ain't used that page in months. But um, also man, yeah, he's also man, he's, he's he's cutting off all the uh, really he calls it misinformation. Really, it's the truth. He cuts all he want. He saw wants to cut off all the truth because he's about to push forward with his agenda, man. You know, right now there a lot of brothers doing videos on well, Revelation three ten, the hour of temptation, and he's all about to come with it, man. He about to like the scripture taking with Joe. He about to try to fulfill his enterprise, man. So he wants to get everyone out the way. He wants these people to be in a, in a, in a dark state to not know what the hell is going on, man. He's to trust in him. See, mm -hmm. the Lord is just using Esau because Esau he believes that he see what Esau is trying to do and what Esau thinks he's doing is uh, by attacking our videos is he he believes that he's upsetting prophecy yes, but in all actuality he's going along with prophecy man this is a hey, when the famine of the word comes it's not because of Esau wants it it's because the, the Lord wants it because the Lord is ready to what bring judgment that's right it also mean the Lord is the one in control. That's the spirit. Because just before we started the video, what well, we was watching the video about that uh, that classic video of El Apostle Gabar. He was going into the fact that you know them Edomites, or whatever them top police, some of them, whatever whoever they were, they put about the limo and say, you know, how did you guys find this out? We paid billions of dollars for you not to find this out. Going to show you this is the will of the Hal Shah. Because that's right. up to Esau, we wouldn't even know this truth. That's right. Now Esau was trying to come up against it, but it, it, it was up to him. If he was really the one in control, we would have never found this out. It wouldn't be thousands of brothers all over the earth. Hey, it wouldn't even be, it wouldn't be any videos to uh to take down. We wouldn't have any videos up. It was up to Esau. I want to show you he's not in control. Yeah, give Matthew the fourth chapter of the Bible. I got something real quick. Yep. It's got. Isaiah fifty five and six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, man. Cause right now the Lord can be found, man. As long as you see the prophets out there on the highways and hedges pushing his word, as long as you see brothers uh day and night uploading videos, man. This is how the Lord is able to be found, man. Okay, but when all this is said and done, you're not you're not going to be able to find your how about Shimi shot, man. You're going to have to rely on those uh, false idols that all of you individuals are worshiping now, man. This is the time, man. The scriptures say, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, man. So before the bad times come about, man, this is the time to search and seek your how about Shimi shot, man. That's right. And I want to say this, too, because... Scripture talk about um the famine which we reading about which is a famine of the word right when the brother brought it out a famine is what it goes into starvation that's another synonym for the word of uh, famine right right an acute insufficiency a severe shortage of food right and this is the real food right because that's why we got Matthew the fourth chapter line up so what it says famine a severe shortage of food as through crop failure resulting in violent hunger. <laughs> And starvation and death. Ooh. So let's let's get that Matthew four, cause the Lord said what? Matthew four and what verse? Where it said we shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the heavenly Father. So if you if we live by these words, if the heavenly Father uh, uh, restrict you from these words, then you gonna die. Right. You gonna starve to death. You know? You got it. It's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, Matthew's uh four and like like three, right around there. Four and three. It's at, yeah, it's at the top. Cause this one, this one, the Lord wasn't hungry. You feel me? And then that's when Satan came and tempted him. And that's when a lot of more spirits are gonna be on these people as well. See, when the word is, you know what I'm saying? When the heavenly Father called back His word, these spirits on the left hand side gonna get on these people, man. You know? As a spirit, Edipus Gabar used to lesson this morning about that, about you know uh, certain things Esau may be putting in this thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. to, to, he could turn to a certain frequency, they start going crazy. Right, yeah. and they showed you in the movie uh, The Kingsman. That's his spirit. That was that was he brought yep. out in the lesson. Too. Come on, yep, yep. And it's uh, Matthew chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse three. It's hey, here. that's beautiful, bro. I gotta watch that movie again. So like, y'all, I gotta watch that movie again in Kansas because when you watch that movie, they was giving out shit for free, yeah, yeah. and then it was a detriment to the people who got the shit for free. Like, 
the same thing happening right now with this jab. Like, everybody yeah. lining up, trusting this man, and they going to regret it. Yep. This is a Matthew chapter 4 and verse 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. Yeah, that's right. But huh. he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every, every word. word that proceedeth out of the mouth of your house. So, the, so this word is more uh, beneficial to you. And this word is more it, right. more beneficial to the body than actual food, man. That's right. right. Uh, even when you go to the scripture and talk about the Lord breathing that breath into Adam, man, it, 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 that's that with knowledge, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. The, the, prop, the proper way, man. Okay, mm -hmm. this, this is what the scripture tell you. What this is the um, make you wise into salvation. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Hey, Isaiah thirty three and six. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be a stability of thy time. So all these people, you're not gonna understand what's going on. You're not gonna be rooted. You're not gonna have faith in your house by Shimon Shah. You're just gonna be out here, man. Confused. Not knowing where to go to, who to trust. Because a lot of these people, there's, there's a certain number of people who they know the government is somewhat, somewhat corrupt or whatever, but they don't have anything else to lean on. So when you reject the words of the Lord, and then the Lord pulls the rug under for the society, so to speak, and there's all hell breaking loose, you ain't going to have no one to turn to. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. This is Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and at the doors of the houses mm -hmm. but guess what's about to happen now all these people about to you know because the scoffers in yeah. the scoffers that shit they done dwindled you know what i'm yeah. saying it's been a it's been a shortage of scoffers so That's to speak right. you know it says uh and speak one to another every one to his brother saying come i pray you and hear what is the word that coming forth from the heavenly father and they do that only to come mock you know what i'm saying and talk shit about us right. and, and scoff against us it says verse 31 and they come unto thee as thy people and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do and that's them. and that's them niggas who come up oh shallow arm you got niggas on the comment shallow arm hey yeah what's up bro how y'all doing no man we don't need no cheerleaders man that's right man. all right and that's what Jake do, man. Jake come up. Oh, yeah, they be going in on the on the on the so called white man. Let's go here. Let's go get a laugh, man. See, Jake think this is a joke, man. Cause what's what? The things that we tell Jake don't do, we see Jake the following week doing the shit. You know, we tell Jake, hey, we see him smoking a cigarette. Hey, man, the Lord don't like that, man. That's off, man. You know, Jake rolling up blunt smoking, man. We tell Jake all these things, but and Jake mind when they leave from hearing the word of the Lord, man, they they go after their own lust, man. What makes them happy? Yup, it said, and they come unto thee as as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. So right, man. if you ain't doing the, you ain't a, a, a hearkening unto the words of the heavenly Father, then why the heavenly Father need to have His word out there? Niggas ain't, you know, taking heed to the word of the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father, like, well, to hell with these niggas. That's right. You know, it says, right, yep, um, it says, for for with their mouth, they shoot much love, but their heart goeth after their covetous. And Jake love to do that. Right. Jake love to show love with their mouth, man. And the scriptures say, uh, don't be just a hearer of the word, be a doer, roughly paraphrase. Right. Jake like, yeah, I love y'all brothers, man. Yeah, man, y'all brothers, man. Hey, like the light skinned brother when we be out there at Cap, oh, yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up, man? Yeah, y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. But Jake, man, no, everything we say, man, that nigga ain't doing it because next week he got a cigarette in his damn mouth, man. Right, they hear, say they heart go, after, you know, after they covetousness. That's so right. they go out to what they want. They ain't doing what the Heavenly Father want them to do. They doing what they want, like the brother said. Verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, a <laughs> one that hath a pleasant voice. And can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Right. So it's just like, uh, 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 um, say for instance, like a group, a, a R and B group, if you were just using that as as, a, as an example. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you got a manager. If he putting out this music, you performing, and people ain't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people ain't, ain't gravitating along. toward it, right? They ain't singing along. It's like it's a waste of you know, waste, the, of, yeah, waste of money, more. waste of resources, right? What the fuck I'm here for? It says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. And that's gonna be some exciting times, man, because all these things that the prophet said. 
everything that the Lord have put in his prophet's mouth is going to come to pass. And that's when you niggas going to understand this same person that you thought was just an average American or an average nigga or average uh, spick, man. All right, he happened to be a man of the Lord, man. All right, and you're going to know that when your ass is going through that fire, man. You're going to know that when your ass is starving. You're going to know that shit when Esau putting a motherfucking rifle upside your head, man. You're going to know that, man. When you scoffing the, 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 word, the men that you have about Shimei or Shai sent to you, that's right, brother. You're disrespecting the Lord, man. Because again, you no, know, we don't esteem ourselves and, and some some great man you got to bow down. We really we do this out of fear and trembling. That's right. We, get our own, we do it. We tell you what the Lord said, man. That's why brothers come out the scriptures every day. Oh, grab that precept for me. I, we, we, this is the words of the Lord, man. That's so right. you don't want to take heed to the words of the Lord as Proverbs, the first chapter. But this goes back to uh, Jeremiah 15. It goes perfectly what you just said uh, about the fact that oh, they, yeah, come then you're going to want to seek, but seek the men of the Lord. Because a lot of people see, they may call us bugged out. Man, that's a spirit. I just did less on this this morning. They may call us bugged out now, think us, think us crazy for not trusting this man and trusting this system. But when all hell breaks loose and they're looking for the answers, guess what they're going to come to? That's right. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 2. And it shall come to pass, and they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Because that's what Jake going to be saying. What should, yeah. we, what, we gonna, what, what should we do? That's right. <laughs> we, we, we told gonna... you what to do. Exactly. Before this even happened, before it even happened, we gave you. Hey, it's like this, man. I, I told somebody the truth. They don't listen. I say, look, man, if there was a pit bull down the street tearing everybody up that go down there, wouldn't you want somebody to forewarn you not to go on that street to go on the next one? Yeah, I would. So it's the same thing, man. See, but Jake think that this ain't going to happen. Yeah. They think that the Lord wouldn't do this, man. Yeah, because they don't have no faith in the words right. word of the Heavenly Father. That's ultimately what it boiled out. They really got faith in man. That's right. Faith and fear is synonymous, man. You got faith. You truly believe that there's a higher power. You truly believe in how about Shimei on Shad, and you will fear him. That's Just, right. Just uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2, it says, And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Yeah, they're going to ask us, what, what, what should we do? Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to the death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. That's right. So the Lord already got you numbered on how you're going to get took out, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For all you individuals out there that want to be prideful, man, mm -hmm. that want to believe you can, you, you can help yourself, all you, 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 you lovers of thyself, as the scriptures say, mm -hmm. the ones that believe that they got it planned out. Yo, 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 hey, what you got on this list is going to take you to the next level without the Lord being in that at all. Man, you niggas going, man, you niggas are going to suffer. The scriptures say, man, you should die a grievous death, man. Uh, the scriptures say they should uh, uh, die a uh, painful death. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they should know about, the same shall know about death by pain. Death by pain. This is going to be a very painful death, man. And the Lord going to laugh at you niggas, man. We going to laugh at you niggas, man. All right. In Proverbs, the first chapter, you're going to laugh your calamity. Why? Because you didn't take heed. Why the mercy? Now is the mercy. Now is the time to ask how to get right. Yeah, now, so is the time, now is the time to come up to the camp. Like, look, I believe, I know y'all the men of the Lord. Y'all bring the scriptures out every single week. Look, let me, I'm a humble myself. Look, look, tell me how to get right. How do I, how do I repent to the Lord? How do I get on his good side so he don't destroy me, man? Yeah, that's ultimate, come. That's ultimately what all of us had to do. Now, not boasting ourselves, also of the Lord, but that's what we all had to do. We all had to recognize we saw the men of Great Millstone, whatever camp you saw, and then you end up following the other apostles of Great Millstone. You're like, look, these men, they're breaking down the Bible a way I've never seen. They clearly know what they're talking about. They're talking about all these calamities that's going to happen. How do I get right with the Lord so I don't get caught up in this, man? No? That's right. It says, uh, and some Jakes, they going to do that when they see miracles. Like, for right. example, when uh, Paul and Barnabas was in the prison, mm -hmm. and then they had the garden shit, you know, and it was right. an earthquake, and the doors, the gate, you know, the prison doors was open, you know, and the guards came back. They thought that Paul them had escaped or whatever, right. and he was about to kill himself, and Paul called out to him and said, do thyself no harm. Right. We are still here. And then that uh, CO, if you will, all right, he said, um, he told him, he said, what must I do to be saved? That's right. So sir, it's going to be certain individuals, they're going to see miracles, and then they're going to believe. But this Proverbs 1 and 23, because this is another reason as to why the Heavenly Father is about to send a famine of his word in the earth, man. Proverbs 1 and 23, turn you at my reproof. Reproof is correction, man. Right? Which go, you got to repent. You got to turn back. You know what I'm saying? You got to be penitent. You got to come back to the word of the Heavenly Father, man. Right? Because this word is what's going to heal us. This word is what's going to 
uh, uh, um, um, we going it's going to stabilize us. That's right. It says, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And that's what the heavenly father doing mm -hmm. by us doing these lessons, by us going out on the highways and byways. The heavenly father is pouring his spirit out of, cause it, the, 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 the spirit that's on us is not of our own. That's it's right. of the heavenly father. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. It said, I will make known my words unto you. So the heavenly father made known his words unto you. And now he about to make them unknown to you. That's right. It says, because I have called and ye refused. So that's the problem with our people. And that's why the heavenly father about to turn his back on two thirds of our people. Because the heavenly father called. He put his word out. You know what I'm saying? The scripture talk about how precious this word is. This ain't just some average old shit, man. You know, this ain't some shit, you know, you can copy and paste and tag it. No, it says, um, because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set and not all my counsel. And what's the counsel of the heavenly father? Uh, us, well, I'm going to give you an example of a counselor, like a guidance counselor. What is a guidance counselor there for? They to guide you in the right direction. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. They, they give you good advice. Right. So that's what we're doing. But what our people do, they say that not all the Heavenly Father's counsel. So all this good advice thrown with the pots and elves of Great Millstone that brothers is giving out to the people, they said it at not, man. It's nothing. When you go into the word not, it's, it's nothing to them. It said, and with none of my reproof, Verse 26, I will, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And that's the time that we approach it to. Because that's when people fear going to come. When the Heavenly Father take his men off the highways and byways and all this shit start popping off, Hell nigga, yeah. that's when niggas going to get scared. Yeah. It says, um, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when, your, when with distress and anguish cometh upon you, then... They shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And that's going back to the, the, the to the topic of this lesson, because it's about to be a famine of the word, man. It says, for they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, like the brother your call was just going into. Faith and fear are synonymous, man. Right? It says, they were none of my counsel. Right? They don't they don't regard the counselors of the Heavenly Father, Ooh, which we're counselors of the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Which you got? I would do real quick. It says Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And 15 or 16, it said, but they mock the messengers of Yahweh. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. They mock us, man. They make fun of us. That's all they do. They make parody videos about us. Yeah, but yeah. guess what happened? Look what happened to Ricky Harris. Yeah, you got right. this new nigga who making a parody of what I did a lesson on the other day. But I guess he don't know about Ricky Harris. You a new scoffer, nigga. You don't know what happened to Ricky Harris. The Lord smote his ass. That's right. So when y'all mock the messages of the Heavenly Father, it's just like when the Lord talk about when he get the parable in the book of Matthew, he said he sent one servant, they cat, they yeah, killed him. Yeah, they he sent right. other servant, they, then he right. sent his son, said, I know they're going to reference my son, right. and then they killed him. Right. So that's how, that's what he motherfucker, that's what they do. That's that They mock the, the, the messages of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, so it, it says they mock the messages of, of, of Yahweh and despise his words. And misused this prophet. Despise mean hate. When you go into the word, the despise it basically means to, to hate or or it's something that's insignificant unto you. Yep. And it said, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> that, that what the Heavenly Father is about to bring on this place on, on two thirds, it ain't going to be no remedy. It's not going to be no medicine or no uh, uh, mollifying ointment that you could take, man. No, no healing. <laughs> no healing, right. The scripture says, no healing I bruise, roughly paraphrasing. But uh, this is uh, Proverbs 1 and and uh, verse 29. For they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the heavenly father, Yahweh. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. And that's the point right there, man. So that's the major reason why the heavenly father is about to send a famine of the, of the word uh, in, in the earth, man. Because they despise the word, they hate it, they 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 they, they said it at naught. You know what I'm saying? They don't take heed of, uh, to the counselors that the Heavenly Father uh, uh, put out here, right? right? The earthly representatives of the Heavenly Father, they mock us, you know? So so what? Now the Heavenly Father is about to call back his word. And we know when we when the prophets ain't on the highways and byways, that's when all hell gonna break loose. That's man. right. You know? 
And that's the only reason why the Heavenly Fathers ain't hell over here in America, bro. Because the Heavenly Father, he, the, the, the elect definitely about sealed, for sure, bro. And that's why the Heavenly Father, and, and that's what the Lord said in Revelation 7. seven. Chapter. He said, he said, uh, don't blow on, on the trees on the earth or the sea until the servants or the, or the liver probably be sealed on their forehead, forehead, man. So, then that's a prime, and then that's how you know, man, through the shit that's happening, the prophecies that's taking place, that's how you know we in that time, man. That's right. We in that time where the Heavenly Father about to call his men off the highways and byways, and all hell about to break loose, man. You know, once that happens, hey, if you was just saying that about you know the four winds, I mean, mm -hmm. you thought of Ezekiel the ninth chapter, man. Mm -hmm. Slay old and young, but amazed little children. Yeah. That's the time we're coming into, man. There we only, go. The only ones who can be examples, what it takes that same chapter, but uh, don't come near any man upon me. There we go. Heart, there we go. You know? So, hey. Hey, with that, you know, we pray this was edifying. We give all glory on and praises to Yahweh. No mind to see the apostle and elder great millstone. We rule well, peace and salutation, blessing to the I can push this word of truth sincerely. Shalom. Waffle of a ball.